Hi guys, Randy Winstead here, messy. <laughs> okay, it's good to see you guys. I hope you're doing great. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do today is play with my jelly plate. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, go grab out your jelly plate. If you have one, it doesn't matter what size. They come from small, you can get them small round to like a 5 by 7 ish. This is an 8 by 10 and then you can get them 12 by 12 as well. I've had this one for a few years and I have just, I've been going to play with my jelly plate and then I happened to watch the video with 49 dragonflies and Louisa Heinz and I just cracked up. The girls are so funny. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get mine out and play with it. So, um, basically, all you're doing is you're adding, well, I add paint to mine, and I use a brayer. I have two different sizes that I use, depends on what I'm doing. And I have a sheet that I uh, ink off. Like I clean my brayer off on a on a sheet just like this, um, so I'm not wasting any of the paint. And you can do different things. You can have different uh, textures and different. You can use stencils. You can use like a comb like this. You can do designs this way with with something like that. Uh, this I can make circles. You can do all kinds of different things uh, to add different textures and fun designs. And I have been playing already, as you can tell, and some of the th paints are drying and whatnot, but I'm, this isn't going to be a long video because I, you know, I just want to show you just a little bit of the basic and of what I do. And there are tons of videos out there, of course. Um, and because I'm using a an 8x10 and not a 12x12, 12 12, you know, my papers, to get them all edged, I have to move, you know, move and, and wipe or rub, you know, to get that. But let me just show you some of the things I have been playing with this morning. I'm not trying for... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not trying to be like very cool in my patterns or anything like that. I'm just putting color down and just kind of having fun <clears throat> with that. This is one of those papers that I, I bray off my color. And so then, you know, you get other colors and you can do designs and whatnot on those as well. Um, bu 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 bum. just been kind of just mottling around here, taking some of my other papers that I've had for a little while that I haven't used maybe, and adding a little bit more pattern, a little bit more color. Here's one where I've done the, you know, the, the comb thing. And then um, these are the last ones. These I think are really cool. I like these. I've got black and gold and white. And then a dictionary page behind it. I think that's very cool. And then, and then here's another dictionary page. And this has got a little pattern of some stars in it if you, if you look carefully. And then this one I think is very pretty. I like this done with the white stars on top of kind of a green bluey background. And then this is glassine paper. And this is just black and gold and, and white. So yeah, we're just, we're just having fun guys. So get out your goodies and let's just play for a minute. And just play and chat and catch up. So I hope all is well with you, my friends. 
I hope you are, um, oh, excuse me, healthy and happy and productive. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a mess. I've got dried paint on here, which is perfectly fine because the dried paint will come off on, uh, on the paper, so that's not a problem at all. So let me show you one thing that you can do. I'll use a stencil for, for this. And I'm kind of getting into like the Christmas spirit. I'm just kind of excited about that. Oh, we can use that bubble wrap for sure. And this could be cool. Let's maybe do that. Two, two, two. And let's see what else we've got here. Those could be fun. Anything could, I mean, you know, it's just like, take your pick, take your pick. Just trying to see what my patterns are. I don't always remember. I've got several Tim Holtz stencils, but I don't always use them. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Maybe that. Okay, so pick your paper, um, pick your paints. I'm just using, what am I using? These are acrylic Master's Touch um, that I just bought in a set. Um, b -b 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 paper, you can use um, regular copy paper, dictionary paper, ledger paper, glassine, uh, tracing paper, deli paper, I, just the sky's the limit. You can use all kinds of things for this and, it, and it'll go great. So let's go ahead and just do one or two with a pattern to show you. And what you can do afterwards. Now, so this is my stencil that I've used with the stars. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's, you know, full of paint. So when I'm completely done, I will probably take this in my bathroom and I will probably wipe this down, clean it up, but not until I'm completely done and do them all together. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take, say, this one. This has got some little bit of a uh, purple in the background, pinkish, some blues, a couple of different blues, and then some gold. Let's, let's put white on top of this and then put that on and see what that might look like. So really, it's just, it's just fun to play. I mean, you just, I don't, use a ton of paint. Um, I try to get it covered, but I find that the more paint that you use, the more chance you have of distortion and globs. And so I am trying to just, you know, just kind of go a little easy on this. And then I'm going to clean off my brayer. You're probably, you aren't going to see that too much, but you'll see it's a little bit cleaner. And I have used that to do that with. Okay, so now let's lay down our paper. And we're just gonna rub the back of it. I don't wanna move the paper. I want to keep it in the same spot and just rub it till I got good coverage and then we'll lift off. It's kind of fun. You know, I mean it's not like, oh that's the most fabulous thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's fun. Now let's take Another piece of paper, how about this one, and see if we can pull up that 
dot pull up the design from the stencil there this is just you guys this is just like oh when you just you know you just don't want to have to think too much okay that's cool I like that that's a fun design and these work great in collages you know rip off a little bit and add to different add some different elements those are very fun very cool okay now I've got all this paint on here so now I'm going to this is just water I'm gonna spritz it wet it down and excuse the reach my friends I have some just copy paper just normal copy paper here and I'm pulling out a sheet of that and we will lay this on and let's you know let's see what we get you can also with these you can do all kinds of layering you know if you don't like a first layer then let it dry let the paper dry and then add some other colors add some other designs to it to get something that you do like okay well that's nothing to write home to mom about or anybody for that matter but hey it's okay <laughs> all right what color what color should we go guys let's do a different let's do I know let's do some silver let's put some little daubs of silver and I'm just doing every two or three inches just a little daub of color on the silver okay you can whoops <laughs> that does not fit <laughs> here we go yay <laughs> so I've got blue kind of in the background and it's going to pick up a little bit of that let's go with maybe a dark this is turquoise green I mean, I, you know, there's really no rhyme or reason, you guys. I'm just throwing down color. Just, just for fun. I am, by the way, I still, I want to thank all of you for your continued prayers. I'm feeling so good. Tomorrow, I would normally be going to my weekly chemo treatment and I am not because I am officially done with my chemo treatments. Yay! Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's see. How's about how's about a lighter green too? That could be kind of fun. And I'm hoping that food is going to start tasting normal to me. I've had a a thing a thing she had a thing <laughs> oh no um, where food has tasted many foods have tasted really strange to me and so yeah that's been kind of kind of weird but hopefully that will be getting back to normal here soon I think we'll go ahead and we'll use this paper again we'll give it we're going to give it another try another chance so what I'm doing is I'm just gently blending it in my colors and obviously you can at any point you can say well I like this you don't have to blend it in completely you don't have to I mean this is your this is your playground, guys. So you can do whatever your heart desires with that. Okay, I kind of like that. So now I'm going to bray off my extra so that I'm not wasting any of the paint color. And you can see how I have taken that and and this will be good I mean I can use this for 
for uh, for fun as well. All right. Now let's go ahead and lie this down. Now this isn't completely dry, and maybe I should have dried that before I do this. But it's been a long time, you guys, since I worked on my jelly plate. And it's just, it's just fun. I want to do some, the reason I got the stars out and whatnot is for, obviously, for Christmas things or for winter. Ooh la la, isn't that pretty? <gasps> yeah, okay, I like that. I like that very much. Those are beautiful. All right. All righty, then let's see what else do we have. As I'm, you can't see over to the right of me, but I've got a whole bunch of papers that I can play with and maybe do something with. Okay, here's a little, I don't know, this is just something that I have had and I've used parts of it, but we're just cleaning it off. So that's cool. Alrighty, let's get another one. Let's try this one. So, Honestly, I don't know what the rules are for jelly plating. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are. I've just, you know, watched some videos and, and uh, like I said, I've, I've had some fun just kind of playing with it. But I know one who's really amazing at her jelly plates, and that is Artie Mays. She's really good at you know, but all kinds of different color combinations, and I, I love her work. Oh, I like that. See, I like that much better than when I started, and that's why, like, I keep all of these kinds of things, and then, you know, you can play with them. I could also, if I wanted with this, I can stencil over it. I can use paint, or I could use inks, um, you know, to add more color even without the jelly plate. So just keep that in mind. You've got all kinds of possibilities, guys. Let's see. What else? Maybe just one or two more, and then we'll call this good for today. Um, <laughs> and I'll go wash my hands. <laughs> and I'll go wash my hands, you guys. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'm going to do something with this. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put pink. I really like pink and orange together. I think they're very pretty. And I don't know that this is going to turn out that way at all and as I am making a complete mess here wipe that off oh <laughs> ah, okay let's just say I don't get painty hands all the time because that can kind of drive me nuts too all right let's see let's put a milky white and it's one I have not opened yet so I'll pull off the little tab. Ooh, that was a little much. Okay. <laughs> so, what are you working on today? What is interesting you this week? I finished up a fall journal which I am very happy the recipient messaged me and said she loves it and I'm so grateful she's a sweetheart well y'all are sweethearts seriously I mean I you, you just are <laughs> yeah just are guys I feel like I absolutely have access to 
the best art community there is out there. And I'm so grateful to be just a teen, teensy little part of that. Okay, now let's, let's, let's do something. Let's do something different. I am making, they almost look like washers, don't they? I don't know how that'll play out, but let's give it a go. Okay. Here we go. This is part of the fun is just not knowing what you're going to create and just having it, you know, just be whatever it is. I love that part of it that you can't. Well, and you can to a certain extent. You can determine what something is going to do a little bit, but just not completely. Okay. I really like this color. I think that's beautiful. I'm not crazy about the circles. It may need, this may need another application of something for me to be, you know, like satisfied that, okay, we're done now. So, okay, so I think we're gonna call that it for today, you guys. I just wanted to come on and share with you and I hope that you've got your jelly plate out and I hope you're getting your hands all messy <laughs> and that you're playing with it. I just think it's a fun thing to do. Take a little break from the journal making and get yourself some uh, random papers that you can add collaging elements to your work so that it can just just add an extra little bit and be super fun in the process. All right, guys, I love you. I hope that everything is well with you. Until next video, have a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.